Running Viewpoint 3D has to be run in administrator mode as you can see here in the compatibility tab. Uh, the reason for this is that it runs as an embedded system for industrial and uh, information display applications. Um, so that has to be set. We run the program up and uh, go full screen and let's have a look at still images, uh, left right stereo movie samples, stereo image and we have one here of um, which is this is a perfectly stereo matched image it's computer generated uh, which is makes it very easy for it to be perfect and here it is so you, you can see that we're in 2d plus depth mode I can turn that off and you'll see that what we're seeing here is a is a mesh I'm going more closely to that it's a very detailed mesh and we basically use uh, the mesh, we manipulate the vertices of the mesh to project the image, the left and right images into 3D space. Uh, we're using a technique called radial convergence uh, which allows us to um, click P for panning, Alt key down to speed that up a little bit and you can see now the, the two left images, the left and right images which we've input into this object and you can see them here uh, S left CG and S right CG um, have been extruded into the 3D scene and the typical parameters we have we've got some displacement and we also use a, a technique with a region of interest to shift the image so we can uh, adjust the quality of the depth map switch that back into 2D mode shift and reset to reset camera position uh, and here again I can shift down and I can shift shift the image left and right to fine tune stereo matching once we have the stereo matching achieved it's projected within our 3D environment of Viva 3D and as you can see here we have a curve the curve basically aims radially at the the camera, the eye of the viewer so that all of the extrusion points extrude towards the viewer giving a, a more accurate 3D rendering 3D extrusion from the two images that we've input uh, into this obviously for um, our application here what we're interested in is, is incremental left and right shifts which we will process into nine views all of which has a have a slightly different displacement so here we're shifting increasing the 3D depth perception here the left top here is rotating in one direction and the right bottom here the final ninth view in the other so this way it's very easy for us to then project that into an autostereoscopic view here producing the autostereoscopic down of course brings the images together and then we separate the subpixels back out 2D plus depth, again we see the depth map and of course what we can do with the viewpoint then is we can uh, add objects very easily to the scene to annotate our left right stereo images uh, as you can see here okay so there's an object that we've uh, just added in front of the okay I have to turn the 2D plus depth off there we go. so there's our, our cube and if I want to spin the cube I select S and I can spin it. So I can very quickly build up the sorts of scenes, text, um, pointers, any other details that I want to add are very, very easy to add. Shift reset to reset the camera position. Zoom back in again. We can grab the mesh and move it around. And of course, we can also um, spin the mesh around. Not that I'm doing it very well. and you can reload it without changes to restore it as it was 
Uh, and we're back now to the, the original signaturing extrusion. The, the edges, of course, we leave as they are. They have a, a bit of mixing of the colours. But this is generally, this sort of movement is enough to give the 3D effect.